Now the first step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties, go to launch option. In the launch option, type in dash DX12 over here. Launch the game. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, can even try dash DX12. Launch the game and then check. Still not working, can remove this. Follow the next step. Now you can even go to the game installation folder. Wherever the game is installed, you can copy the game. Uh, you can make a right click on the game exe file and then show more option and then click on send to desktop create shortcut and then go to desktop make a right click on the exe over here um, shortcut and then go to properties go to target option at the end of quotation you can give one space and then type in dash dx12 now you can hit apply click on ok and then launch the game when you launch the game you will receive a prompt to allow dx12 and then you can check still not working then go to properties and this time you can type in dash dx11 over here and then click on apply click on ok and then launch the game and then check let me close the game for now so when you launch the game uh, during the launch it will prompt you to allow dx11 or dx12 you can click on continue and then check And let me close the game for now still not working uh, the next step is to verify the game files now for this you can go to steam make a right on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files after the verification you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to disable smooth motion in nvidia apps so nvidia card users open nvidia app and over here uh, go to you can see the game click on settings or you can click, click on graphics and then you can select the game over here and once you select the game over here if you see a smooth motion if this is on turn it off also go to global settings if smooth motion is on turn it off and then you can launch the game still not working uh, try launching the game from nvidia app so you can go to nvidia app over here you can see the game click on play over here launch the game and then check if that does not work go to settings or you can go to graphics click on the game once you select the game over here if you see optimize option like this you can click on optimize and then launch the game if it is already optimized you can revert the optimization and then you can launch the game and then check still not working go to settings and then turn off this nvidia overlay turn it off and close the nvidia app and then launch the game try debug mode now for this you can go to desktop make a right click on the desktop show more option and then click on nvidia control panel and then go to help option put a check on debug mode so if this is unchecked you can put a check on debug mode now relaunch the game and then check still not working uh, restore nvidia control panel settings so go to manage 3d settings global settings restore yes at the bottom right you will see apply option hit apply over here and then you can relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run ubisoft connect installer so if ubisoft connect is running over here you can make a right click and quit uh, quit ubisoft connect and then make a right click on the game manage browse local files and then over here you will scroll down here you can see ubisoft connect installer make a right click run as administrator click on yes to allow click on accept over here and then hit install and once this is installed you can check if you receive any kind of error message make sure that you close ubisoft connect and then check still not working uh, if you receive any kind of error but while installing ubisoft connect installer you can ignore it follow the next step install latest version of ubisoft connect so for this uh, you can go to ubisoft connect website and then you can click on it and then you can download download this exe file you can download ubisoft connect and make sure that you close ubisoft connect from here close all kinds of ubisoft connect services and once uh, the exe file is ready to install you can click on this file and you can install the latest version of ubisoft connect and then check still not working use ubisoft connect to launch the game you can launch ubisoft connect uh, you can launch ubisoft connect and then you can go to library scroll down find the game you can launch the game from ubisoft connect and then check still not working the next step is to clear steam download cache now for this you can go to steam steam 
settings go to downloads here you can see clear cache click on it this will confirm this will restart steam and then you can relaunch the game still not working uncheck uh, now for this you can go to steam make a right click go to the game installation folder and then select the game exe file make a right click go to properties go to this tab uncheck if this is checked you can uncheck this box hit apply click on ok relaunch the game and then check still not working update windows to the latest version for this you can open windows settings go to windows update or update in security click on check for update and once all the updates are installed over here restart the computer and then check right now windows 11 latest version is 25h2 so make sure that you update your windows to the latest version and then you can check still not working the next step is to remove mods if you are using mods you can remove the mods delete the blue folder if you are using mods so in in the game installation folder if you find blue folder if you are using mods you can create a backup first so you can copy and paste to the desktop create a backup of blue folder and then you can delete it and then you can relaunch the game next step is to rename afop folder in documents my games folder before that create a backup first because all the saved settings and save game progress will be lost you have to start everything from scratch so now for this you can go to documents open my games and here you can see afop you can copy this folder you can create a backup once the backup is created over here now you can make a right click on afop folder and then you can rename it and once you rename it now you can relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder make a right click on the game select manage browse local files make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work make a right click go to properties and then go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work go to properties once again and this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check you can even try disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working you can uncheck these boxes when you put a check on all these boxes not working uncheck these boxes uncheck everything hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to now if you are using any third party antivirus or if you are using windows security go to privacy and security windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add and allowed app over here and then click on browse all apps go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app browse again go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open click on add in my case the game is already added once added launch the game similarly if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Pit Defender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card, your operating system, and then click on find. On this page, you will see the latest GeForce game ready driver. Whichever is the latest GeForce game ready driver, uh, you can click on view and then you can click on download and then run this exe file and then you have to click on yes to allow click on ok click on agree and continue select custom option over here click on next then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next once the clean installation is done restart your computer and after the system restart you can check md card users you can open go to md website select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select your operating system click on submit select your operating system this is just an example i don't have amd graphic so make sure that you select your graphic card over here whichever is the latest graphic card driver download it install it restart your computer and then launch the game still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this you can type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings add desktop app and then select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on the game select high performance you will see your graphic card over here now launch the game desktop users make sure that you connect your hdmi or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot not the motherboard slot next step is to dis disable integrated graphic card drive uh, integrated graphic card now for this you can go to the start menu make a right click go to device manager 
expand display adapter if your computer has a dual graphic card one is intel other like one is integrated one other is discrete you can make a right click on the integrated one and then click on disable device and then relaunch the game and then check if you face any problem or once you're done playing the game come back and enable your in integrated graphic card once again next step is to roll back graphics card driver so if the latest graphic card driver is not working nvidia card users after you select your graphic card your operating system on this page scroll down click on view more versions and maybe you can try to install the older graphic card driver download it install it when you go for installation put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then restart your computer and then check amd card users after you select your graphic card click on previous versions select your operating system maybe you can try to install the older graphic card driver download it install it restart your computer and then check still not working install visual c++ file now for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website scroll down here you can see x86 and x64 you have to install both the files so click on x86 and then you can run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete once done you restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel hardware and sound power options and over here i have only balanced but in your case if you find power saver option like this you can select power saver over here relaunch the game and then check you can even try balanced or high performance but first of all try power saver not working then type in graphics settings in windows search box click on graphics settings now click on advanced graphics settings if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off turn it on relaunch the game and then check if this is already on turn it off relaunch the game and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total ram for maximum is 3 multiplied total ram so you can check total ram in windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your ram and if you face any problem we can always revert back to the settings so do not worry about it so for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total ram in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total ram that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 me megabyte then 3 times multiplied 3 that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that you hit set and then click on ok and then ok okay now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in view advanced system settings again and then click on view advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on okay click on okay over here hit apply click on okay okay you will see restart option restart your computer and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advanced change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step still not working the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the bios next step is to unplug all the external devices if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnect it disconnect extra controller connected to the computer disable steam overlay now for this steam users go to steam uh, and then make a right click on the game select properties and then go 
turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game uh, if you have like game on ubisoft connect click on your profile icon settings and then go to interface and over here you can see enable in game overlay for supported games you can uncheck it launch the game and then check still not working if you have discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app settings turn off overlay and close all the overlay application do not overclock set it to default close all overclocking application like if you have msi after burner revert unit any kind of overclocking application running close it if you have multiple monitor setup try launching the game on single monitor disconnect multiple monitor close all kinds of third party application running on your computer and then check if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working you can uninstall the game and then uh, after you uninstall it uh, install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel